Again, ulitin ko po ah. Always distinguish between GCQ, bawal, MGCQ, allowed na limited gatherings. Okay? Pangalawa po, pagdating sa pagpapatupad ng protocols, wala po tayong kinikilala. Mayaman, mahirap, babae, lalaki, kung anumang kasarinlan. Kinakailangan po yan ipatupad. At itong controversial na insidente naman, ayaw nyo naman sabihin doon sa Baguio, e nangako naman po ang ating kalihim ng, kalihim ng mayor ng aking siyudad na aaktuhan po itong mga nangyari rito. Nag, uh, humingi na po siya ng abiso na nagkaroon nga po ng lapses at ang sabi ko niya, pati sarili niyang misis, e po pwede niyang imposa ng fine. So hayaan na po natin na umusad ang proseso. Uh, 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 buo po ang tiwala ni Presidente kay Mayor Magalong. Buo po ang kanyang respeto kay Mayor Magalong. And when he says that the law will be implemented, we trust that uh, Mayor Magalong will implement the law. The personal liability depends. Kung meron siyang personal na ginawa, mere attendance is not actionable. Siya ba'y nag-observe ng social distancing? Siya ba'y nakamask? So kung gano'n naman, eh, wala siyang liability. No? Pero ang importante po, sinabi na niya there were lapses at sinabi na nga po niya na um, the vice mayor is investigating obviously kasi involved siya dun sa insidente yan. Antay na lang natin po ang uh, mga hakbang na gagawin. Sir, sure, what does it say? I mean, yung mga nagpapatupad ng mga rules, uh, can you say they are flaunting the rules? I cannot come up to any conclusion kasi hindi ko alam kung nagkaroon ng personal breach si uh, Mayor Magalong. I have not seen him in any photo indicating that he did not observe social distancing or he was not wearing a mask. So he personally um, may not have liability but he has said that there, have, there were lapses. No? And ang sabi nga niya, tao lang po. So I leave it at that, confident that the matter will be investigated.